Welcome to my madness, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this Bring Arts Captain America, all armored up and looking badass. I mean, he really does. It's a great looking figure, I gotta be honest. Just seeing pictures of it before I even picked this guy up, I was very impressed just with the look of the figure. Now, um, it, it's a cool figure. It's also a pricey figure. But one reason it is pricey is because much like the Sentinel figure that we have back here, he's about half metal. He's not just plastic. So there's a lot of heft to him. And, uh, you know, with adding metal pieces to an action figure like this, of course, that's going to bring up the cost a little bit. The question, of course, is, you know, does it bring up the quality? And we will talk about that here. Before we get too far into it, I do want to talk about the accessories real quick. He doesn't come with a ton of accessories, but he comes with basically everything you need for a Captain America figure. So he comes with extra hands. He comes with also an extra shield. So he's got his standard, you know, red, white, and blue shield. He's also got this red and gold shield, which... I don't know why he has that color shield, but it's an extra accessory, extra shield. That's pretty cool. And then he comes with a variety of accessories that allow him to not only just hold his one shield multiple different ways, including on his back and to mimic him throwing the shield, but he also can hold both shields at the same time if that's how you want to uh, display him or put him in a diorama or anything like that. So not a ton of accessories, but I think a decent amount for the figure itself. Now, as far as the figure itself goes, um, you know, uh, articulation, as I have talked about before, is something that is is kind of lost on me in many, many ways, just because, you know, I pose my figures very kind of vanilla on the shelf. Like, this dude's probably going to just kind of stand here like this. I don't do big dioramas or anything like that for my collection. So, articulation is not as big a deal for me as it might be for some of you guys. That being said, he does have pretty good articulation. Um, you know, uh, to point to the Revoltech that I've already done a video on, um, you know, it's not Revoltech level articulation, but it is pretty good. So we do have double jointed legs there that come up pretty damn far. He's got good rotation there in the upper thigh, which works really, really good. You know, he's got uh, rotation there at the bottom of the torso and a little bit at the top, not much, but he gets some really good rotation there between the two of them. Um, he's got single jointed elbows for some reason. I, I don't know why. They come up pretty decent. They're, they're not horrible for single jointed elbows. They're actually pretty good. But um, they are single jointed, but he does have that rotation in there as well. Not just uh, up here at the bicep swivel, but he's also got a little bit of rotation there as well at that elbow joint. Not a ton. And then, of course, we've got a butterfly joint right there and uh, a ball joint there in the shoulder. Um, head. Got some tilt there. Um, he can't really look up because of the design of the helmet and his collar right there. It kind of prevents him from looking up and looking down as well. So not a lot of head movement there. Um, as far as doing the splits, he cannot do the Van Damme, mostly because of his crotch piece right here that has these pieces on the side that bump into the pieces on his legs. So when you try to get his leg up, they bump into each other. Now, I've taken it apart and looked. I mean, the ball joints he's got in his legs are great ball joints. If these pieces were not here, he could do the full Van Damme splits with no problems whatsoever. And, uh, you know, you've just got the design of the figure and the sculpt is what's keeping that from happening there. So, not the greatest articulation. For me, it's more than good enough because he looks absolutely amazing. The sculpt looks great. And for a Captain America in like a kind of fully armored, almost robotically armored suit, I think it looks amazing. And in fact, uh, this one here, this Sentinel is one of my favorite figures. And I think this guy here looks way better than this guy because this actually looks like a guy in a suit. This just looks like a robot. And while I dig it, it doesn't look like a guy would actually fit in that because his arms and legs are too skinny. So he looks more like robot Captain America as opposed to a guy in an armored robotic kind of, you know, Iron Man-esque suit like this guy does. And I think this works much, much better than that one does there. Now we saw that comparison there. We'll go ahead and throw him up with the Marvel Legends 20th anniversary Captain America. Of course, the 20th, Captain America is considerably taller. This guy is a hair under six and a half inches, I believe. 
This guy's about six and three quarters, so he's considerably taller there. We can throw him up with this other Revoltech that I picked up here. This is the other one. I actually bought these two both at the same time from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, the Revoltech is obviously a lot beefier and just a hair taller. And then, of course, we've got our Ultimate Captain America, which is one of the best new figures we've gotten in the last few years for Captain America, I think. And uh, he's not as tall as the 20th Captain America, but uh, he is a little bit taller than this guy here. So as far as size comparisons go, it's kind of where you would expect for an import figure. It's not going to be as big as a Marvel Legends. However, is it so small that it looks out of place on a Marvel Legends shelf? And the answer is no, definitely not. It looks really, really good. And, and just the sculpt on this guy, I mean, they did such a great job just you know in the metal pieces really make a difference because you get actual like metal shine there on the, on the on the legs and on the upper torso and you know the head and and it just all that and you know it's it's much better than just it being you know painted plastic to look metal it actually is metal you've got an actual metallic look there and I think it looks really, really damn good. I think they did a phenomenal job on this. And in fact, as much as I love my figure right there, I, I gotta say, this is gonna be kind of uh, my new favorite, I think, Captain America on my shelf because it just looks absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the way they did this guy. And, you know, obviously it's not a direct comic adaptation or anything like that, but certainly inspired by the comics. And uh, it really gives a great, great look. Now, to go into price here real quick on this dude, um, I picked him up for, I believe, $59.99, okay? Um, regular price on him is around 100 bucks. Um, would I have spent 100 bucks on him? To be honest, yes, I would have. Now that I have him in hand, I totally would have because, you know, I, I've spent that much money on, you know, Mafex figures or Mezco figures, things like that, that are really, really loved as much as I love this guy right here. So even though I wasn't willing to pull the trigger before I got him to spend that much money on him, now that I have him in hand and realize how great of a figure it was, I totally would have paid retail for this guy. I mean, I'm glad I didn't, don't get me wrong. I'm glad I got 40 bucks off of him, right? He was 40% off at Big Bad Toy Store. But in retrospect, if I had known how great this figure was, I probably would have jumped the gun a lot earlier and gone ahead and picked him up. And, you know, I would not have been disappointed at all. I mean, until I saw that sale at Big Bad Toy Store, and then I would have been like, damn, I could have saved 40 bucks. But anyway, you get what I'm saying here, guys. I do think this thing is worth full retail. I think it's a great figure. I think they did a great job. Um, you know, this is now the only Bring Arts or, you know, Play Kai Arts or, you know, whatever name that uh, Square Enix goes by when they're producing figures. Um, this is now the only one that I have, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed, and this definitely makes me uh, want to consider other figures that they've put out uh, to see how good those figures are as well. So, I mean, in the end, very, very happy with this guy. Uh, he may, as I said, be my new favorite Captain America on my shelf. I don't know yet, but uh, as a big Captain America fan, I couldn't be happier with this particular uh this particular purchase so very glad that i picked him up but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below what do you think of this guy do you have him do you want him have you had picked up any of these you know bring arts figures and if you have what do you think of them um but as always guys i do appreciate you watching and always remember to enjoy your collection